prayer warriors, guess what time it is? It's time for us to engage in prayer. First of all, you know what? Um, like I said before, in the last few weeks, our numbers have dipped to all-time lows. But uh, a young couple uh, came up to me on Sunday, and they just really encouraged me that they were new to joining our Friday night prayer uh, family and uh, wanted to encourage me that please don't um, stop this. Um, they're uh, really, really benefiting from it. And I, I think that, as you and I know, God just comes along with a little breadcrumb of encouragement uh, to just keep us um, encouraged to continue to do what we're doing. So I just want to thank that couple, and I want to thank all the people that say that they um, are online with us on Friday, and we will continue uh, to move forward. I want to read you a great scripture uh, tonight. It's found in Acts, 15, Acts 12, excuse me, Acts 12, verse 5. It makes this one statement. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was fervently praying to God for him. Notice this. Brother Peter, Apostle Peter, is in prison. And I don't know if he's about ready to be headed like they did James, but he's going to go on trial for preaching the gospel. And probably a lot of hardship is going to take place. He's in prison. He's bound in chains. He's, he's in a cell. Probably doesn't smell good. Uh, there could be feces around. There could be rats around. It's cold. Uh, it's wet, um, he's hungry, possibly isolated. And there are a lot of people like that. They're in all kinds of prisons. And notice what the church did. The church just didn't stand by and watch. The church just didn't uh, ignore what was going on in Brother Peter's life. The church did something about it, and they rallied together. And they prayed, and I like the way the Bible says it. They prayed with fervency. You could pray, but that doesn't mean you're praying with fervency, passion, earnestness, heartfelt stirring over um, the crisis or identifying with the situation of the people that you are praying for. And they prayed with constant consistency, boldness, a never giving up attitude, with the heart of God. And notice this, when they prayed with that fervent attitude, fervent attitude, then God did something miraculously. He set them free. An angel came and walked him out of that, and, uh, and uh, he never had to go to, through trial. He never had to see that cell again in that situation. And I just wonder how many people are in prisons who could come out of the prison. And I'm not talking about literal prisons. I'm talking about symbolic prisons, emotional prisons, uh, physical health prisons. And I pray in the name of Jesus that our prayers are going to make the difference. Ten minutes ago before I got um, on this uh, filming, uh, a pastor friend of mine called me. And he, he told me that um, they're suspecting cancer of the throat. I want to pray. I'm going to pray for my friend, but I'm going to pray fervently. And I'm going to tell the devil he's a liar. And my friend might now may emotionally feel like he's locked up, sailed up, and bound. But in the name of Jesus, we have authority, and we're going to exercise that authority in prayer. What am I saying? You and I know people that are in a type of prison. You might be going or in a type of prison today. And we're going to believe God for supernatural deliverance. We're going to believe God for supernatural breakthroughs. We're going to pray that you are liberated supernaturally from the bondage of the prison in your mind and in your body or even in your spirit that you are under today. And when we pray, God moves and he unleashes his, his power and his glory supernaturally, whether it is uh, done sovereignly or whether it's done through a, a mighty warring angel or however he does it, Jesus hears 
our prayers. And so, Father, we come to you today in the name of Jesus. As the ecclesia, as the church, as your body, as believers, God, one could put a thousand to flight, but two could put 10,000 to flight, God. And when there is a multitude of people praying, but they're praying in unity, your spirit begins to move, your power, your glory, your anointing begins to flow, God. And so we come together now in the name of Jesus, Lord. And we begin to lift up people that we know that are bound and enslaved and in bondage and in a spiritual or emotional or physical cell of prison. And in the name of Jesus, we pray with fervency, O oh God, that they would be set free, that they would suffer no harm, that they would suffer no danger, God. We pray in the name of Jesus for there to be a liberation. We pray for them to be a freedom, God. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus that the salves of their lives would break loose and bust loose in the name of Jesus, God. We ask that you would intervene and do what only you are capable of of doing God God I lift up my friend and I pray in the name of Jesus that cancer and I pray for my other friends that have cancer today God that cancer is a robber that cancer is a thief and that cancer is a stiller and we take authority over that cancer over my friend's life and it will not live it will die Father I pray for a reversal I pray that if there's any legions, if there's any tumors, or there's any growths in people's life, that that, that <clears throat> would deteriorate, that that would dissolve, that that would be gone in the name of Jesus. We command cancer. We call it out by name. It is an illegal trespasser, and we arrest it in the name of Jesus, and we rebuke it, and we bind it. And it will not spread. There will be no life. It will not take the life of anybody. Father, I thank you that we stand upon the jurisdictional law of your word. Your word is a book of contracts. Your word is a book of uh, promises and commitments, God. And we stand upon the legal jurisdiction of the law of God's word, which there is no authority greater than the law of God that says in 1 Peter 2.24 that by Jesus stripes we are healed. In Matthew 8.17 he bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. In Isaiah 53 in verse number 3 through 5 he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquity the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. I thank you today, God, for that promise, God, that we legally stand upon today and claim victory. Father, I thank you today that you are a mountain-moving, yoke-destroying, miracle-working God who nothing is impossible for, O oh God. You can deliver and you can heal a marriage. You could deliver and you could heal a body. You could deliver and restore finances, God. You could heal and deliver a soul, a mind that is tormented, O oh God. You could heal and deliver a relationship and restore it, O oh God. Is there anything too hard for God? I thank you today, God, that we come into agreement and we believe for the supernatural to take place, that the work, the plots, the plans, the strategies, the schemes, the devices, and the wiles of the devil will not prevail in the name of Jesus. We thank you today, God, that you hasten and watch over your word to perform it. I, we thank you, God, that you said, so shall my word be that goeth forth from my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but accomplish that which I please and prosper in the thing whereunto I have sent. I thank you that you said, my son, attend to my words, incline thy words 
your ears unto thy sayings. Let them not depart from the midst of thy eyes, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall is my, my word sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing, dividing asunder the joints. Is not my word like a fire, a, 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 a full, and a fuller's soap, O oh God? We unleash, we unleash the sword, the spear of God's word today. Thank you, Lord, for the full armor of God, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the sword, the sword. We hold the sword in our hand. We wield the sword and we cut down. We cut down down the opposition we cut down the obstacles we cut down the hindrances of satan himself that is coming against people today civilizations languages cultures nations countries systems we cut it down with the sword of the spirit which is the word of god we thank you today god that the word of God, you said, let us hold fast to the confession of our faith without wavering. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We've neglected the word, God. We put a, 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 a light weight upon the word of God, Lord. We've gotten comfortable around the word, God. But yet your word is a sword of the spirit, God. See a sword, see a sword in your hand today. What will you do with that sword that will bring victory? What will you do with that sword by decreeing and declaring, thus saith the Lord? You said, God, you wielded that sword against Satan, God, in the wilderness when he came against you with temptations to defeat you. Three times you said, it is written, you wield the sword. You didn't think the scripture, you said the scripture, God. You didn't just think the scripture, you spoke the scripture, God. You didn't just uh, think the scripture, you uttered the scripture. It is written, and you quoted the word of God. We thank you, Father, today. We wield the sword from our mouths, that which we believe in our heart. It's not just coming out of our mouth, it's coming from our heart. And with the heart, a man believes the word to be true. Everything that is speaking opposite of the word, and the promises of God, must be canceled, must be negated. It's a lie in the name of Jesus. We intercede by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. And we come against every lie of the devil in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you today that your promises are true. And I, we stand upon your word today. Wherever there is the activity of the devil in the name of Jesus. Wherever there is the presence of the devil in the name of Jesus. Wherever there is the influence of the devil. We bind it, we bind it, we rebuke it, we drive him out in the name of Jesus. We drive him out of our homes out of our marriages, out of our children's life. We drive him out of our jobs. We drive him out of our church. We drive him out of our minds. We drive him out of our bodies. We rebuke him. We rebuke him. You said, Lord, give no place to the enemy. You said, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity, O oh God. We thank you today in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you for your promises being true. You said, how can you bind, uh, how, can you, how can you take authority over a strong man unless you first bind him? We bind him. We bind the activity of Satan and we drive him out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we arrest the devil's activity. We do not allow the enemy to feel comfortable, nor welcome, nor tolerated, nor accepted. We drive him out in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord, that strength is not in us. The strength is in the word of God. The strength is in you, O oh God. 
and you live big within us, God. In you do we live and move and have our being, O oh God. <clears throat> Father, we thank you that we rise up under the same anointing as Jesus, the same word as Jesus, under the same Holy Spirit empowerment as Jesus, God. And we walk it, we walk it, we live it, God. We speak it, God. We thank you today in the name of Jesus. And we will not tolerate the enemy in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you today, God. May the enemy's works be nullified. May the enemy's works be stopped. May the enemy's works be destroyed. May the enemy's works, God, be confounded. Uh, may the enemy's works, O oh God, be bewildered and confused, O oh God. May the enemy's works come to naught in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Victory, victory is coming tonight in the name of Jesus. The same way the church experienced the victory where Peter was set free from the prison. Today, people are, are being set free. Today, we're praying and we're going to hear the testimonies of what took place tonight, God, where people were bound and they're now being liberated, God, under the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We call out these friends. We call out these people that we know. We say their name. We lay them before you now, God. And we let the devil know that he cannot have them in the name of Jesus. He cannot have victory over them in any form or any fashion. And whatever uh, wile or strategy or device that he is using to attack them, it will not prevail. It will not prevail in the name of Jesus. It's an unlawful, it's an unlawful thing, God. It is not permitted and it is not allowed in Jesus' name. We will not accept it and we will not tolerate it. We stand upon your promises today, O oh God. Glory to the Lord. Great is the Lord. Magnificent is the Lord. Marvelous and wonderful and greatly to be praised is our God. Let strong men fall by the wayside. Let strongholds fall by the wayside. Let addictions and bondages and captivity fall by the wayside. Let demonic uh, uh, activity be broken. Let principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places be driven out in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, empowered by the Holy Spirit, anointed by the Holy Spirit, strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. God, we come before you humbly, God. We come before you broken, empty, and needing, declaring our dependence upon you, our reliance upon you, our submission upon you, God. Thank you, Lord, today in the name of Jesus, oh God. Help us to live a life of discipline. Help us to live a life of direction. Help us to live a life of deliverance. Help us to live a life of diligence. Help us to live a life of desire, your desire for us. We delight in you, O oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus. Search our hearts, O oh God, and see if there's anything that does not glorify you, magnify you, please you, or is there any form of wickedness within us, O oh God. We repent of that, O oh God. We make things right before you in the name of Jesus. May we not allow... <clears throat> the enemy, God, to steal or to rob or, or, or our joy and our peace and our thankfulness and our praise and our rest, O oh God. May it not be stolen from people's lives. May it not be lost, God, in our lives. We thank you for the peace in our minds and our spirits, the joy in our minds and our spirits, O oh God, the level of thankfulness and praise and rest that we find in you, O oh God. Lord, keep our hearts tender towards you. Keep our hearts sensitive towards you. Keep our hearts obedient towards you. Keep our hearts fervent towards you, O God. You complete us, O God. You captivate us, O God. 
You control us, O oh God. O oh, Father, in Jesus' name, God, we will not have any other God before you, O oh God. It is you. May our flesh be crucified, O oh God. May the works of our flesh, God, not have any life, O oh God. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that there is no criticism found in our mouth, O oh God. No complaining found in our mouth, O oh God. That there is no uh, cynicalism found in our mouth, O oh God, in Jesus' name. We pray, God, that we are not deceived in any form or fashion. You said in these last days, do not be deceived. Many will be deceived, O oh God. Deception happens when we walk away and we don't spend time in your word, God, because your word, God, eradicates the deception of our lives. But if we do not spend time renewing our minds, God, we can easily fall away and be led away, God, and beguiled and deceived, O oh God. So, God, we thank you today, O oh God, that we are not misled, we are not misguided, we are not fooled in any form or fashion by the enemy, God, in any way, O oh God. We thank you that we have a spirit of discernment, we have a spirit of wisdom, we have a spirit of insight, we have a spirit of knowledge, we have a spirit of understanding that flows through our choices and through our habits and through our lifestyles, and through our actions and through our deeds. We thank you, Lord, through our decisions, God. We thank you, Lord, for the spirit of wisdom, with the, for the spirit of knowledge, for the spirit of insight, for the spirit of comprehension, common sense, and insight and understanding to flow in our lives, oh God. Root out us every form of <clears throat> root out of us every form <clears throat> excuse me. Root out of us every form of hypocrisy, O oh God. Root out of us every form of compromise, O oh God. Root out of us, God, everything that is double minded, God, dishonest, disloyal, O oh God where we do not obey the scriptures, where we do not submit to the scriptures, where we do not adhere to the scriptures, God. Father, help us to recognize that we are living in these last days, O oh God. And you've told us not to be deceived, and you told us not to be afraid, fearful, and you told us not to be worried or anxious, O oh God. God, we don't know what is going to transpire from one day to another. But we know that you're a good God and we know that you're a faithful God and we, we trust you, God, and we have faith in you and we believe you to be in control for you to rule and reign and we're going to trust you, God, in the name of Jesus. And we're going to live by your word, the standards of your word, the statutes of your word, the principles of your word, the commandments of your word, the law of your word, O oh God, and we will not allow the culture of society, what is popular, God, what is politically correct, the materialism, the secularism, the atheism, to overtake us in the name of Jesus. You are looking for a remnant in this hour, God, that is free from the ways of this world, O oh God, that will carry your light and carry your anointing and carry your message without compromise, God. Let us see the importance of the generation that we are and the times that we are living, O oh God. And we cannot afford to be deluded by the ways of this world, to be lukewarm like the church in the book of Revelations of Laodicea, O oh God. We cannot afford to be lukewarm, O oh God. A little bit of Jesus and a little bit of the word a whole lot of compromise in our lives, oh God. We either believe your word to be true, like Mount Carmel, God, where Elisha said, how long will you be halted between two opinions? If you believe God is God, then worship him. But if you believe that Baal is God, then worship him. God, may we not ride the fence of compromise, oh God, and know how big and how real and how mighty our God really is, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you today, God, that we are called out 
and we will not blend in. We will stand out, and we will not blend in, O God, in the name of Jesus, O God. May we be your agents wherever you have us to go, God, representing you well in the name of Jesus. Stir up the gifts of God within every person, God. They cannot be complacent, nor dormant, nor lethargic, nor mediocre. May the Spirit of God stir people up and revive them, God. May people be red hot on fire for you, O oh God. White hot on fire for you, O oh God. We thank you, God. Thank you for your presence in our lives, God. May we cherish these moments of intimacy. May we cherish these moments of, of closeness and unity within you, with you, God. May, may we cherish, God, our and value our relationship with you that we will not sell it out to the ways of this world, oh God, to the ways of sin, God. Sin, sin, sin. Father, whatever that is that so easily beguiles us and makes us bow our knee to you, God, may we not give place to that, God. Whatever it is, lust, sexual immorality, pride, arrogance, haughtiness, gossip, lying, cheating, jealousies, anger, unforgiveness. These are all sins, God, that can easily overtake us, God, where we are, we are all bent toward us one or another, O oh God. You said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and deliver us from trespasses, O God. Deliver us from temptation. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Lord, today, may we symbolically see ourselves standing, but under our feet is the word of God. And we stand on the word of God, which is the authority of the universe, which is the power of the universe. Heaven, earth, and hell is subject to the authority of God's law. And God, today, in the name of Jesus, we will live by the statues. We will live under. We will live submitted. We will build our lives on what the Bible says. And if the Bible said it, we'll do it, no matter the pain, the hardship, the sacrifice, nor the suffering, God, in Jesus' name. Because your word is the authority of our lives, God. I thank you that we stand, we take a stand on your word. May your word, the scriptures, the beliefs, the faith, the writings of your word be written in our hearts, seen in every aspect of our lifestyle, God. May your word form a hedge of protection around us that anything that is other, anything other than your word that tries to come into our lives, there's a shield that will not allow it to penetrate. So when the lies of the enemy, the attacks of the enemy, the deception of the enemy, the, the ploys of the enemy come, it cannot penetrate because our minds are girded upon the word of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the authority and the power of your word, God. We believe your word today. We believe your promises to the true God. Just like Abraham, who staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, we will not stagger on the promises of God. We meditate upon the word. We study the word to show thyself approved. We speak the word only. Thank you, Lord, for the power of the word. The Word, the Word of God, the Word of God, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Healed by the Word of God, delivered by the Word of God, 
set free by the word of God today under the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, yet again, we lift up what's going on in Israel, God. And we pray for an end to this war, oh God. We ask that you help guide the leaders, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, help people to discern the times that we are living in. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for innocent lives, God, that could be killed or destroyed, O oh God. Father, we pray, Lord, for the agenda of Hamas and every other terrorist group to be stopped, God, in their, in their destruction, in their, in their uh, agendas to murder and to kill and destroy anybody that does not believe nor practice what they believe, O oh God. We don't know everything, God, but what we do know we pray against in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray, Father, for the peace of Jerusalem, God, that allies stand strong with them and enemies are, are dissolved, broken up, and confused, O oh God. We know there are many, many in enemies, according to your Bible, that will come against Israel, God. And we stand against these spirits that influence leadership, God, that influence culture and people, God, to bring about hate and violence and destruction. We come against that, God, in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, for wisdom. We pray for protection. We pray for guidance even from our own lives, God, as we travel down the freeways, the street, the highway, as we walk, as we run, as our children go on to get on a bus and go to school, oh God from viruses to germs to airborne things, God. Watch over us, O oh God. We pray for sound minds, God. We pray for sound minds. We pray against Alzheimer's and dementia. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I pray for every tissue, blood vessel, organ, fiber of your body to be healed in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, in this hour, God, where inflation is and recession is, is, is running rampant, O oh God, and AI is taking people's jobs, O oh God. And I pray that you preserve your people. Father, we have a covenant with you that you'd rebuke the devourer and open the windows of heaven. I pray, God, that people, you put it upon their heart maybe uh, to change a vocation, God, to, re, uh, to, to get a new major, God, to go back to school, God. Show us the jobs of the future. Show us, God, where we need to be, the light and the salt, in, in administration and in high positions of influence. Raise up a generation, O oh God, of young, young, young uh, kids, O oh God, that will not compromise, O oh God, but they will be so needed, God, in their, in their uh, gift. Let their gifts, their talents, their abilities, what you've ordained in them, God, be manifested, that they don't have to be confused with one major to another major and go to college and get a degree that they can't use, God. But use them, God, so that unsaved people, God, and the world, God, would come to them as they came to Joseph and his gift, as they came to Daniel and his gift, as they came to Nehemiah and his gift, as they came to Esther and her gift, God. They didn't care what they believed, God. They cared first about the gift, that the gift could help the community and bring betterment, oh God. And then they started asking the questions, who do you serve? And where did this knowledge and wisdom come from? I pray that, wow, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We pray that over people, over this young generation, God, over this young generation, Speak to their hearts. Let them know, God. Visit them, God. Give them this assignment by the Spirit of God. Reveal the calling, God. Reveal yourself to them, God. Reveal the gift. Reveal the talent. Reveal the ability, O oh God. And then place them, God. And then position them, God. For your glory and for your honor. 
that will cause amazement to the others, like in Persia, God, like in Babylon, 10 times stronger, 10 times smarter. That's what we pray. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Daniel, 10 times smarter and 10 times stronger so that they do not have to bow and they do not have to compromise to the appetites, the diet, and the agenda of the world. They could stay faithful to you because they will first be needed for their gift and then your anointing and your calling and the light that's within them will shine, God, and many, many will come to faith. We pray that now in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover everything that we pray for, God, to your glory. Amen. God love you. God bless you. Thanks for praying with us. We'll talk to you soon.